Hey folks, welcome to the Unihosted YouTube channel. My name is Fernando and today's video topic will be about VLANs and how to set them up in Unify. I'll explain you the benefits of using VLANs and also I'll show you the step-by-step -step on how you can create VLANs on your Unify gateway and the network application. Now, without further ado, let's begin. All right, folks, let's begin with a little bit of theory and also the benefits of using VLANs. If you are already familiar with VLANs, you can just skip this part and go to the configuration part where I'm going to set up the VLANs on Unify. So here in this beautiful diagram, I have a common network, uh, the one that you get with your ISP modem router. Uh, you can see here we have a few devices connected to the modem router. Uh, this is a common network, your local area network, the one that you will have. And all the devices will have internet connectivity and they will be also uh, able to see each other in the same network. Now, let's say that you want to uh, separate things a little bit. You maybe want to have your security systems. Uh, you maybe want to have your IoT devices into other networks. If you have this single modern router, you won't be able to do it because you only have one LAN. Uh, so you cannot segment the network. Uh, this can create security issues. This, this could create uh, network performance issues or uh, basically you don't have control of a lot of things. Uh, if we talk about security, for example, let's say uh, you have guests on your network, people ta that go to your uh, home, or maybe if you have a small business, they go to your business. You want to provide them with internet access. Um, if they connect to this single network, they will also be able to see in the network uh, your security system. If you're a small business, your point of sale system. Uh, if you have a server, they will be able to see the server uh, over there. Maybe you have someone with malicious intentions and they can uh, create issues with security. So if you have the single network, um, security is a thing that you cannot manage and you will have issues over there. Same with uh, network efficiency or network congestion. Let's say you have a lot of devices connecting to the same network. Uh, there's a lot of traffic that happens not only when you browse through the internet, um, or connect to the internet, uh, you have what's called the broadcast and multicast traffic that happens behind uh, the scenes, your devices, uh, they communicate with each other, they communicate with the router. This is not a bad thing, this is a common thing. Um, but with a lot of devices uh, on the same network, this can create network congestion. So uh, something uh, that you can have issues as well is uh, with this and if you only have one network. Another thing is applying uh, control over your network. Maybe you want to control the upload or download the speeds of your network. Uh, you won't be able to do this because it's going to be difficult since you only have uh, one network. So these are the main issues that uh, you have when you only have a single network. Uh, another example that comes to my mind is, for example, uh, the HCP range. If you have um, a network like this, it's a 24 uh, slash 24 network, you have around uh, 254 available IPs. This may sound uh, sound a lot, but uh, if you have a small business, there are sometimes that you get out of IPs, you don't have more available IPs, and so you need network segmentation uh, to help with this. And you think, all right, uh, I want to have, I want to segment my network and I need to get another router, but uh, that's really difficult, uh, that's really complicated. And that's when uh, VLANs comes really, really handy. So let's go to the uh, next slide. All right, folks, now let's talk about uh, VLANs. And what if I tell you that you can have multiple networks instead of just one, uh, and you can manage them all in the same router. So that's what VLANs are, are logical networks that you can create uh, in your router. So you can have multiple networks and now uh, do network segmentation. You can separate your networks. VLAN uh, stands for Virtual Local Area Network. So for example, we have here in the slide, we have our main LAN, the one that uh, we used to have. Now the subnet is a little bit different, but we have our main LAN. Uh, and now let's say, hey, I want to have a VLAN. Uh, I want to have another network where I'm going to put all of my IoT devices, like my printers, my Chromecast, or things like that. So uh, I'm going to create an IoT VLAN, and I will place those devices over there. Uh, for my MBR, for my camera system, I want to put all of my devices into another network, so uh, I will have a security VLAN and same for the uh, guest network. All the people that will be connecting to my guest VLAN, uh, they will be connecting to another network and not uh, to the same network where I have my MBR, where I have my IoT devices or my main line where I have maybe I have servers, my point of sale systems or uh, things like that. So uh, basically with VLANs, you can segment your network and you can have multiple networks and manage those networks in the same router. And this is one of the things that uh, a VLAN capable router like Unify gives you is network segmentation. Now that you have uh, network segmentation, you can apply uh, rules or security rules in the firewall. So you can, for example, limit traffic between 
the VLANs. Like I mentioned before, if I don't want my uh, or devices uh, connected to the guest VLAN to connect to my other VLANs, now I can apply firewall rules um, or inter VLAN firewall rules so I can restrict the traffic. Uh, also, now I can apply tra traffic control rules. For example, if I want to limit the upload or download the speed of a specific VLAN, I can do it because all the devices over there are in the same VLAN and I can limit the traffic only on that VLAN and I don't have to limit all uh, the traffic on my network. Uh, another thing that uh, we have as a benefit of network segmentation, the broadcast and multicast issue that I mentioned before, that if you have a big amount of devices, uh, you will have issues of network congestion maybe. Uh, now with network segmentation and using VLANs, uh, we uh, have a, a little bit more of network efficiency and it will work better than if you just have all your devices in the same network. Um, same thing like I mentioned with the DHCP issue, if you run out of IPs in your DHCP range, now you will have uh, one DHCP um, segment on each network, so you will have a lot of IPs uh, and you won't uh, have an issue with DHCP and running out of IPs. So that's basically what VLANs are, so networks that you can create within the same router virtual networks, all right? Now, um, maybe you are asking yourself, what is the thing that you see next to um, the VLAN that uh, it's ID? So how does the router, the switch, the access point, how do they recognize that a frame, so the data unit that is sent from each device to another, how do they recognize to which VLAN it belongs? Well, that's how, um, that's the VLAN ID. So each frame will have uh, a VLAN ID assigned or tagged to each frame so they can identify to which VLAN the frame belongs. So that's uh, something that you need to set up the VLAN ID when you're creating VLANs because you need to assign one VLAN ID. So for each VLAN, you will have an ID. Uh, the number one will be the one for your main LAN. And then you can use number from two uh, up to 4094. So those are a lot of VLANs that you can use. Um, I like to use, um, for example, if I'm using, if I'm changing the third octet of my network, uh, something like this, uh, I like them too much. This is something that I found that uh, a lot of network professional uh, and, and enthusiasts, um, uh, something that they do. So I like to uh, match those numbers. Uh, but if you want to use a number two for your next VLAN, that's fine. Number three, four, five. Um, so that's what do you see, and that's what the ID of the VLAN uh, is. Um, there are a few more things that uh, we are going to see as a theory uh, in the part of the configuration of the ports, because maybe you are asking yourself, okay, but how does the uh, port of my router or of my switch knows to which VLAN it belongs? Well, that's something that we are going to see on the um, unified configuration because I'm going to explain you how do you manage the ports and how does the VLAN traffic and uh, the IDs and tags, uh, how are they set up over there. Okay, so that's it for the explanation. Uh, and now let's get some hands-on on the configuration on the uh, unified device. All right, time to set up some VLANs in Unify. So I'm here at my network controller. This is my cloud gateway. To set up a new VLAN, I need to go into settings and then the networks tab. And here we have the option of new VLAN or virtual network. So let's click over here. I'm going to replicate the same thing that I had on my slide. Uh, the router will be the ultra. I will leave the um, zone to be internal. And then uh, to change the network settings, I uh, need to uncheck this. And now here it comes the most important part when you are creating or managing VLANs, the VLAN ID. This is what I mentioned before. This is how the network devices identify uh, the frame that uh, goes with the device uh, and to which network it belongs to. So for the IoT um, VLAN, I'm going to use the VLAN ID 20. So let's click Add and let's create the other VLANs as well. So security leaving everything as default, just unchecking this so I can change the softnet and also uh, VLAN ID will be 30. Remember, this is the most important thing when you are setting up VLANs. And the last one is going to be guest. Now, um, detail over here, I will leave this in the internal zone. Um, you can also create a new zone or move this into the hotspot. You can also use the option of isolate network for a guest network. For everything related to firewall and guest networks, I will create separate videos because they deserve another video. So I can explain a little bit better uh, all the features that you can use and uh, the best practices for those two things, for firewall zones and also for guest networks. So for this, I'll just leave this option over here, changing the network to match the same thing that I had on the slide. Uh, so let's click add over here. 
Perfect. So now I created all the VLANs in my uh, router. So I, now I have different networks uh, here set up on the router. Let's say I want to set up Wi-Fi SSIDs for each VLAN. For that, I'm going to get into the Wi-Fi tab. I only have one for my main LAN. So I'm going to create a SSID for each VLAN. So now let's call this one IoT and let's set up a very simple password. This is just for a, a demo um, or for a test purpose. So if you're setting up a Wi-Fi network, please create a really, really complex password. Uh, now, here's where uh, you need to make a change. For the network, instead of using the LAN, if you want to create a, an SSID for another uh, VLAN, you need to change uh, it over here. So I'm going to choose IoT for this one. Okay, add Wi-Fi network. And now we just need to repeat the same steps for the um, other VLANs that we created before setting up a password and using the VLAN of our, our network of security. Same thing for guest. Okay, and we choose the guest network over there. And now we click on add Wi-Fi network. Perfect. So we have created Wi-Fi SSIDs and networks. So if we want to connect to those networks, we just need to use the specific SSID uh, that we created for. Now, for example, let's say you want to uh, manage a few things over your ports and you want to assign a specific port to a specific VLANs. This is another of the benefits that you have with VLANs. In case you have a very big switch and you want to uh, modify the ports and assign a specific VLANs to each port, you can do it. So I'll show you over here. So we go to ports. Now uh, I have my U6 Plus connected to one of the ports and I also have my computer. Now let's begin, uh, I want to show you uh, the U6 port. So since in the um, U6 port, uh, I have the access point connected and I'm broadcasting all the Wi-Fi SSIDs with all the VLANs, I need this port to be a trunk port. What is a trunk port? The port uh, called trunk is the one that will carry more than one VLAN. Um, it will transport the native VLAN and also it will carry uh, other VLANs. It could be all the VLANs. It could be just the ones that you or uh, the ones that you specify. So right here, uh, of course, I want to uh, transport all the VLANs. So uh, I will use the option allow all. So if I want to carry uh, to carry all the VLANs over that port, uh, I need to use this option. If I want to uh, just uh, transport the native VLAN, uh, I, I can uh, go ahead and click block all. Or if I want to specify which VLAN uh, will go over that trunk port, I can just go over here and you can see it says tagged VLANs. And then I just choose the VLANs that I want to carry over that port. I'm going to click cancel over there. So this is really important. Uh, for example, if you have an access point connected to a port, if you have a switch connected to a port, let's say uh, to your router, and you want to move all the VLANs between devices, you want to transport all the VLANs between devices, remember you need to tag the ports, you need to um, set up the trunk port uh, to carry all the VLANs. Now let's talk about what the native VLAN is. Uh, for that, I'm going to click cancel and go to the um, port where my computer is connected. So the native VLAN is the network um, that is by default on that port. It's also called untagged VLAN uh, or untagged uh, network in the port. So right now my computer is connected into that port and by default, the native VLAN will be the LAN one, uh, the one that you see here. So let me see. Uh, so here we have a um, command prompt and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, the IP config of um, the ethernet adapter. You can see I have two Ethernet adapters, but you can see that it's showing the um, default or native LAN. All right, I can change this if I want. So let's do something. Uh, I'm going to change the native LAN to be the IoT. So my computer, instead of uh, being connected uh, by default to the uh, main LAN, is going to be connected to the IoT. Of course, for this, I need to do uh, something real quick. So I'm going to apply the changes over here and wait a little bit. So this is really important uh, if you have, for example, a switch and you want to specify, uh, because you have maybe multiple VLANs and you want to specify different VLANs for each port. Uh, this is, uh, like I mentioned, uh, one of the other benefits of having VLANs. If you have a very big switch, like a 48 uh, or a 24 switch, uh, you can play a lot with all the ports and this is really, really uh, beneficial. Okay, let me see if now uh, I need to change the IP. Yes, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and let's do IP config release. So I'm renewing the IP address of my Ethernet card. Just need to wait for this to finish. Okay, perfect. Let me go up a little bit. Now, now you can see that the IP address is now the one in the IoT VLAN. So this changed because I changed the native uh, VLAN of that port. And if I want to get to the gateway, I need to uh, type the IP address of that VLAN, uh, of the gateway in that VLAN, which is 20 actually and not 10. So I'm going to change this to be 20. And now you can see that I'm connected 
again to the gateway but with the uh, other uh, ip subnet now i didn't create any firewall rules uh, i will leave that for another video but um yes it's something that we can do now that we have vlans created all right so that's it for the configuration of vlans in the unified cloud gateway and the network controller all right, people, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the Unihosted channel, and also turn on the notifications for all the upcoming videos that will be on our channel. If you have any questions, uh, a comment to share with the community, or any requests for other videos, just uh, drop them in the comment section. Uh, thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next Unihosted video. Bye-bye.